Hello everyone and welcome back to another video from my channel Hybrid Cane Motor Railway. Now today we're not in the loft, we're not running trains, well we are driving trains, but we are on Train Sim World 2020 once again. Now I have got, uh, recently I got Train Sim World 2 for my birthday, so that means we'll be able to do interesting things on there such as like the German routes. I know we've got Main Express Art Bar there, but the, the other German route that comes with Train Sim World 2 is really good. Um, also, the American one is good. I'm going to have to start learning how to drive the big, beefy American trains. Uh, but we are on Train Sim World 2020 today, just simply because it is a lot easier um, to film on this one. And if I can film on this one, then I will. And this is where these the routes, such as West Somerset Railway and Northern Transpennine, were created for. They weren't really created for Train Sim World 2, but they've been carried over to Train Sim World 2. So we are going to be continuing with the West Somerset Railway. We are doing a scenario again. We're doing Minor Trunter Part 2 because we did Minor Trunter Part 1 in the last video. So we'll go to Scenarios. As you can see, we've done Minor Trunter Part 1. Um, the only reason it says Minor Trunter Part 2 is because I've played this before. I uh, can't really remember it that much, so I thought I'll do a video for you. Um, and next, we'll probably go uh, on to the Northern Trans Pennine. And after that, we've got a race series on uh, Train Sim World 2 to do. And after that, we we'll, might move on to some other things. But we'll see where we go. So we are doing Minor Trunter Part 2. Welcome back to Minehead. Use the coaches previously collected to form up a passenger service in the station before completing, and it's displayed off screen again, before completing this duty by attaching the nearby Class 47 climb board sitting in the driver's seat of the locomotive. Now, you'll see it's pointing me over there. If I actually try to go up here, as you can see, it doesn't let me in the cab door. Um, eventually it will, but if I do try and drive it from this end, then the, then the controls are locked. And that's a bit odd, but you might think, well, you're driving that end, drive out there, which is to where we stop change ends and go back down. And if I was driving this locomotive in real life, if I could drive it in real life, then that's exactly what I'd do. Start up this cab, drive out that way so you can see what you're doing, and then change ends. But no, this game wants you to reverse out from this cab and then stop you from changing cabs by driving in that way, which I think is a little bit silly. I'd rather change cabs, but whatever. I'm not bothered. I won't bother activating the tail light there. In fact, yes, I will. And in fact, we can't. Can't go in the cab. Anyway, so hopefully this all goes well. I've had a couple of practice runs in which I forgot to set the points, which wasn't good. Uh, I won't set the AWS. It's just something I can't really hear very well when I'm recording. So we will set everything up. So head code on, desk light switch on, tail light. No, we don't want that. None of those switches do anything. Head light switch on. Master key reverser to engine only while we start up. And forward. I'll set the controls so I can use the controls on the controller rather than pressing A and then swinging it down because that takes a long time. And also, if I'm applying throttle here, then you can't really see out the window where we're going. So uh, I'll use the controller. In the last video, okay, apparently I didn't sound the horn enough. In the last video, I said I would end up, you, I would try to, you know, use the controls like this. Um, but unfortunately, that wasn't possible because, well, as you saw, pretty much immediately I started using the controller buttons. It's just a lot easier to film uh, and a lot easier to do if I just use the controller buttons. Plus, you can actually see what I'm doing. So, yep. Brakes off. Sound the horn another time because the game said I didn't sound it enough but clearly I did this is what I mean about Train Sim World uh, 2020 in Train Sim World 2 you you can't use the RT this button and LT the button that I'm pressing now to raise the height you sort of got to raise the height by using the move button and then the camera button which is really nice you've sort of got to gain height by going up and then going down like that, whereas on Train Sim World 2020, you can just use your bumpers. Um, and that's camera lock. And you can switch between driver mode and stuff like that. It's just a lot easier, if you ask me. Uh, plus, in Train Sim World 2, you can't have the front follow button like this. Um, and you can't have the free camera button either. Well, you can have the follow button, but when you're coupling with the free camera, um, sometimes it's just a lot easier. Um, unless you change the entire control setup, which feels even more weird than it already is in Train Sim World 2. 
and um, then you know it's not really good for filming on so i'll probably just use that mainly for the ice route um and maybe also uh for the obviously the london underground so you don't need to be getting out your train in that so yeah so that's what i'll use train sim world 2 for it is a good game just for filming stuff like this um, it's not as good uh, if i play the west somerset railway um on without without filming then i will play it on trains in world 2 because i don't have to be getting out of the train i just stay in the train but if i'm filming uh, then I'll, i prefer to do it on here so let's stop the train anywhere there i think that's good enough we will get back in the cab brakes off let's get it into forward sound the horn And off we go. That lit up indicator at the top there that's all lit up tells us we're going off into a siding rather than straight down. No cars at the crossing. Don't think there ever is, to be honest. So we're going into a minor down shunt and then we have to reverse back to near the 08 and then on the turntable turn around and then go into a different track obviously you don't have to turn around an engine like this because it's a uh, double cabbed so i'll try and keep the speed up um, i am speeding now obviously but you don't speed until you go like four miles per hour over should probably keep the throttle on on because that's what you're supposed to do if you're ever on a high position of throttle um, don't immediately just cut it off to zero you're supposed to reduce it so say if i went up to you know like 75 percent power and i was bringing it down and um, you're supposed to leave it on on until you can see in the bottom right the amps die down to something reasonable until the amps settle and then that's when you turn it off otherwise that can cause issues and also don't just ram it straight up to 100 percent you know increase it in little bits wait for the amps to die down um, or I'll wait for the current to die down, I should say, and then, you know, increase it. Because otherwise you'll overload it and potentially stall the engine, which I have done. And, yeah, wasn't good. So we'll start slowing us down a little bit. We might as well pull right up to the buffers. It's not going to work. We'll stick it there. Now I want to go in reverse, but in fact I'll turn the reverse to off, put the master key on, make sure the throttle's off, um, and I'll actually change the point work by hand, because it's a bit more visual for you watching rather than me uh, pulling up the map, but uh, I will set the map down first. So I'll set that point on the way back. So we'll pull this lever. And we're all set to go in that way because the blade's against that rail. Over here, nice water tower by the way, hoping to get one like that for next to my coaling tower like I showed in Sunday's video. So we'll pull that one as well. I'm still getting this cab, even though I'd rather just change ends, but the game won't let me do that. Uh, mask key off, uh, reverse, brakes off. And then I'll go outside for this because it's a lot easier to do. Rear camera. And then I can go here while coupling. Um, in fact, free camera is what I want. Just, you know, in Train Sim World 2, you can't do that. You constantly be moving up as the locomotive moves up, which makes it really hard to see, you know, when you're close to an engine. I might have said coupling then, you're not coupling. And you can't, you know, easily in Train Sim World 2 without plugging a keyboard in, which I could have done for today's video and recorded it on Train Sim World 2. I could have, you know, plugged the keyboard in and done the views like that, but it's just a pain, so I didn't bother. So we'll stand here and get to the right place. So turn driver mode on, brakes off. Give it the beats. On. Off we go. It is a nice little bit of shunting, is this? It's quite involved, even though you don't really go that far. Whoop. 
person's fainted. Oh, we, we got a bit close there. Yep, we, we got a bit close there. Not to worry. I did, uh, a person did faint on the floor. So what we'll do now is we'll move on to the turntable and I will get a nice shot here for the thumbnail. Right then, thumbnail is taken. I will use this camera, uh, this view to change the points uh, just to make it a bit easier. Yep, yeah, that was set correctly. Let's check that again. Yep, yeah, that's set correctly. So we have to go on thumbnail. Um, as I said before, I think I said before, uh, we did park quite close to the 08. Uh, we haven't coupled though. Yeah, I've uncoupled it. Um, so that's all sorted. So now let's move back to the cab. Uh, reverse it is in forward. Turn the brakes off. Load the horn. And let's get going. Those points are set. I can see from here. Definitely left the train behind, which is good. It did tell me to use caution on the turntable as there wasn't much room. So I certainly will. We'll break there. We'll apply the brakes now. And it's telling me we're speeding even though the speed limit's 100 miles per hour. Yeah, right. Let's park it on full brakes there. Now I have to go to the turntable, so throttle off, reverse it off, brakes on full, we'll leave the engine running. Park all his way over here. Could have got out the other side. Uh, and then uh, if I press operate, unlock the turntable, and then we just swing that round to the right. We just move. I don't think we have to hold it. I think we just pull it and it does it itself. Well, I could give it. Just make sure. So it should stop itself there. Yeah, it's slowing down. I'm really not sure what the point of turning the engine round was. Maybe it's just an excuse to let you learn use the turntable. I mean, it's a, I thought it was just so we could pull off into a different siding. I thought it was just used to pull off a different siding, but we have to spin the engine. It's a double-ended cab dovetail. Double-ended loco. Why? Just, just why? Right. I think it's just an excuse to use one cab and use the turntable. To be fair, so it's or whatever. Doesn't matter, George. Get on with it. Don't crouch. Who crouches and runs? Like a chicken. Right, we're going over to the 09 now, so a nice selection of engines. I'll turn all the marker lights on, because I don't to do it when we go in the cab. That's under the buffer. Turn you on. Turn you on. And then this is always something I don't oh no, I didn't normally I go in one cab and enter through one door and then go back in through another. Uh, mark lights on, interior lights on. Boop. Master key, can we see that? Yeah, that's on, that's all fine. Forwards. Brakes release. And on. That's one. Let's get cracking. Stand on the platform and watch this, that might be quite fun. But I'll take the throttle off because, as you can see, that VAC VAC thing is taking ages to ride. When it gets to that little red needle there, that's when uh, we can start moving. It just takes an age for these brakes to release. It's really quite annoying, actually. So, I think this video, I don't think I will edit this video down that much. Uh, the only reason I'm saying that is because I don't think there's any long periods of travelling like we had in my Nedrum to part one. So, 
so I think it's mainly just shunting, which you can't really do music and clips for. Um, so I will just, you know, I'll just let the video run its course. So there isn't that much straight running to do. Here we are, got moving now. Bit of flag up there. And off we go. Probably give it the beans a bit now. Let's go back to the cab. That's the wrong side. Oop. There we go. In fact, can I stick my head out the window? Head out left. And I can put the window down to make it more realistic. There we are. Get up to the head. Pull the amps too high though. Keep it green. I'll back off the throttle. Takes an age, but not. Be very careful with VO8 and braking. If you brake too soon, then you can't take the brakes off. If you brake too late, then well, you've had it. So I'll just put a little bit on there. I tend to only use first application because, as you can see, that VAC thing there, even though I only use first application, it takes ages to release. Do well, 09s have a constant horn like that. You obviously can tell it's a loop sound, but I don't know, interesting. A little bit of braking on. Get us just slowed down enough. I wouldn't recommend going over first brake application. Obviously in a 166 or a HST you might have to. But with this, you know, it's just too long. I mean, you could use straight brake, but then that doesn't break the entire train. It's just a locomotive, and then it's not as effective. So just use the first application. Not one. Coming in nicely. Just coast in. I'll put a bit of brakes on. See what we will go over a bit here. We'll put 50% braking on. We have missed the stop marker, that really doesn't matter to me. Back to our seat. Oh, right. It's one of them finicky ones where it doesn't let you just stop wherever you want. We're going to have to reverse anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Let's wait an age for the thing to release now. We'll swap over to the other side. And because. Right then, so the brakes have released. One thing I would recommend to do while you're waiting for these brakes to release is actually to apply the straight brake on the locomotive because otherwise if you don't then the locomotive might roll one way and in the West Somerset Railway there's a bug where if your locomotive rolls one way but then you apply power in the other direction like the speedo jumps to 200 miles per hour you might have seen that in the previous video um, in the management part one video so I've put them on while we get going I'll put the throttle on and then I'll quickly release these so we don't cause the engine any damage. And then as you can see we start going in the right way and we don't cause any damage or anything like that. So I'm pretty sure once we reach this stop mark it will tell us to reverse backwards. Oh, I'm going to miss it. You do have to, have to, actually, you have to stop for that. It's going to ask me, it's going to, ask me to go the other way now, isn't it? Let's see. Will it have it or not? Oh, it's had that one that time, so if you stop too far forward of it, you have to pull backwards, but if you stop too far behind it, hmm, that doesn't make sense. Whatever doesn't really matter, at least we don't have to wait for the brakes to release for an age. Let's go. Notch one. Working hard is this 08. How many coats have we got? One, two, three, five. Meh, fair enough. Probably weighs several times more than the 08 itself. And it's quite a hilly route, is this? Let's give it the beans. Try and keep it in the green area. 
Claggy. Very claggy. You'll love some of the clag when we get on the Northern Trans Pennine. You'll absolutely love it. Clag you get on there and the sound engine sound you get on there is wonderful. Look at that. It's turned a shunter into a steam truck. Steam loco. And it'll tell us to go down to ten, which we have done. Fill the throttle. And just get rolling. On. On button. There we are. Still no cars. Whatever. And we don't have to change any points because that's the electrically, you know, electrically operated one there. So, go up here. Let me stop at the bottom. And I think what we'll actually do this time is we'll stop on the platform down here. We'll pretend we're a person watching the demonstration shunting, because this isn't actually, you know, proper shunting. It's just shunting for the people on the railway so they're not just stood at an empty station while nothing's happening. So, I guess it's a waste of resources, but if it makes people laugh at them, Kill the throttle. There we go. Thanks for keeping the camera mode because she was going to stop it anyway. There it is, looming in the distance. Blow the arm for the visitors. That rumble I wondered what that rumbling sound is and then realised it's the. No, you can't see it, but thought it's said, I'm not going to move, otherwise, I'll never get back here. Let's put first brake on. Get us down. Slower. Is that driver even looking out of the back window? There we are. Hey, hello, Jim. Or George, I should say. Anyway, that's fine. Hello, you weren't looking out the back window, mate. Are you in, are you intoxicated? Are you on something? Whatever. Jim can do whatever he likes. We've only coupled. We'll get back in the cab. Yes, I picked the right one. That's good. Now that we're in coupled, you can see that the vac brakes there come off pretty much instantly, which is just shows to go that the coaches take a long time to take the brakes off of. And also the... The horn coming up twice in the top right is because there's two horns, but then when you move the throttle, you know, it doesn't come up throttle twice. You know, in the in the top right there, it doesn't come up throttle twice, which is odd again, but whatever. Quite quirky is the way Dovetail makes things, but uh, that's fine. That's switch to straight brake, then we can put that on. And release that with the control. You press X to switch between straight brake and driver's brake uh, if you're on console. I am. Smash in. We'll move over to this side now because it's better visibility. Release. Forwards. Off we go. In fact, I'll take that off in a minute. I'm not sure if we need to change the points. Yes, we do. We have to go up here. Good job, I checked. So we have to go up there, down. That's set to the main line. We can locate that one. That's set to the main line. We have to stop there. Okay, that's fine. Let's go. Let's go, go, go. Love the sound of the 09, actually. Are we going to get pushed into the wall? Ah, that hurts. Oh dear. The camera's been completely and utterly shot. There we are on 
straight air brake, that's good. Watch tower, another one. It almost looks like a mob train from here. Smooth butter stop. Yes, look at that. And then we have to pull up to the front of it. Oakley dokely. Uh, engineer. Uh, head out right. Yes, that will do. That will certainly do. Backwards. I'll use these controls. Uh, we can't. Can we turn around? Oh, yeah, you just have to do a 360. Um, I'll change these points. While we're on the move, so why not? Where do we have to go? That's fine. We have to go up there into this side. And now I can't remember this part. Um, uncoupling the 08 down there. Uh, just before uncoupling the 08 down there is as far as I could remember. So this is good. So it's pretty new for me, even though I've done it before. I warn the workers with the horn as it's deciding. Kill that. Make sure I always run straight brake for stopping up to the coaches, but after that I use the driver's brake. Uh, is this just one coach? I must be adding to that formation there. Yeah, it's just one coach. Fair enough. Let's slow it down now. Slow it down a bit more. Get real nice and slow. Bump the throttle up slightly. Try not to, you know, be jerky with the throttle. Let's go. Apply. Right, okay. That seems good. Let's put the window up. We'll uh, put that on first application. We can release that. Set it forwards. As well. And we pretty much did perfect there. Uh, okay. Off. Manual coupling. There we go. Right, carriage shed now. Right then, so we're, we're in forwards. We can take that brake off. It releases really quick now. We've just got engine in one coach. Uh, we're in forwards. On then, just for the sake of it. Why not? Uh, we've got to pull into the carriage shed. Just check we don't need any points set in. Uh, that one's fine there. That one's fine. Uh, this one needs set in. Goes into the carriage shed. The shed of many things. Quite a few horns there. Kind of like it. Although you can't beat the class 45 horn on the Northern Plains by 9 if you ask me. Right, so uh, let's get into the right setting. Let's. No, we don't want straight air brake anymore. Oh god, we're gonna crash, we're gonna crash, we're gonna crash. Crash, we're gonna crash. Oh dear. Back, it's alright, it's alright, people in there, don't worry, we're just a pigeon flying into the door. Don't worry. Butter pigeon flying into the door. Nothing to worry about whatsoever. Nothing of interest at all. I should pay more attention to stopping the train, shouldn't I, Ralph, than actually trying to get a decent shot. Don't want to fail the scenario and uh, start again, do I? Right, let's uh, get this correct. Go a bit slower this time, and actually make sure I've got the right brake on, which I have. Good.
Oh, I should quickly change that junction lever. There we go. Stop the train. Stop the train. Stop the train. Stop the train. Set the points before you start, George, you idiot. Okay, that's okay. We're okay. Set the points before you go, George, otherwise you get incidents like that. Right, let's just, let's just be careful now. Let's be careful. I'm going to try and do it without using brakes. I just don't know what I can worry about that. Right, let's try not to nearly get fired. Not be fun. Yeah, so that people have to use brakes. I'll put first application on just so the coach stays where it is. Have we coupled? Book I locked. Yep, yeah, that's exactly what we want. Uh, engineer right. Let's get this brake on so we don't start rolling that brake off reverse it forwards on first an option power quickly take that one off and boom off we go now I can actually set this point or these points while we're moving because we're only going very slow he says I think we're all set to go straight up here. Yeah, we set there. I don't know where the junction lever is for that one. That's concerning. Well, the train's going the right way, so that's good. Where where is the junction lever for this point? Does it not exist or is it this signal? No. Because it looks as if we should be going that way. Oh, we are going that way. Doesn't matter. I still don't know where the lever is for it. It must be that signal. Anyway, doesn't matter. Let's go find our train. It's here. I'll actually get in the thing so it doesn't run away. Off we go. Full power. In fact, we could actually, if we can get the controls right, stick his head out. There we are. Out. Make sure we're on the correct brake. Excessive horn for the crossing. The rail fans. Go. Uh, so as far as I'm aware, our coaches will stop on the crossing. Is, is that legal? Is, it, is that legal? I don't. I don't even know at this point. We've crashed into shed. Said it was a pigeon. We've done all sorts. What else can you expect, really? I will pull, you know, quite far forward. Or is it going to have to tell me to reverse again? Probably. Oh, no. Nope, it's not it's not shouted at me this time. Let's release that brake. Reverse forwards. Let's set that brake on. Oh, that one releases. So... I think we're nearing the end because we've got to couple to that formation and um, I think we'll move the OA out of the way and couple to the 47 to the front if I'm not mistaken so we're nearly done uh, and as just like that uh, the vacuum brakes have released nope I'm applying the brakes there George release switch brake take that off switch back to the, to the brake again give it the beans Off we go. 
I'll get the free camera up because we just can't see. This is a funny beeping noise. Hello train! No, free camera. No. Why can't I use the free? Oh, I already am on the free camera. That's why. Thought there was going to be another crash coming there, chaps. That would not have been good. Okay, let's uh, put the throttle down. Thought of going out past that crossing. The car enthusiasts must be annoyed. Train enthusiasts, not so much. Not a problem. Sorry if that switching between uh, camera mode and driver's mode has been annoying. Or if this menu has been annoying, uh, it's just a lot easier for me to film it that way. Uh, believe it or not. Oh, I hope we stop in time. Put some more brakes on. Yeah, of course we will. Normally, obviously, you'd have a person, a shunter, telling you when you're coupled and all that lot. But, um, I don't. We'll take that down to first application. Oh, we've got the chance. Okay, locked. That's exactly what we want. Uncouple from this camera. Whoa. Why is the train moving? That should not be. Why is that should not be happening? It's got brakes on. Right, okay, whatever. I don't even know about this game anymore. Forwards. Uh, bottle was still on for some reason. Release. Let's put these brakes on. Uh, might as well just go straight outside like this. I'm not sure I've done Coupled, uncoupled. Those brakes are now off. They're off. We'll make sure we're on the straight air brake one. And off we pop. Station entrance again, would you believe? Would you believe? Station entrance again. Take a seat in this station entrance. the horn there. My 08's got a whistle but then this is an 08. So completely irrelevant. Although it is an 09. It's just got higher speed gearing which I guess is more appropriate on the WSR because uh, the speed limit on the WSR is um, uh, 25. 08's going to do 15 so you know that's 10 miles an hour but this barely gets up to 15 on the you know the real speed bits. Powerful enough with five coaches. Only 600 horsepower. It's just, what, 125, 120 horsepower per coach? Which, you know, when it's full of passengers who've gorged themselves on ice cream and luxury food here at the seaside, um, not enough. I hope it's 120 horsepower per coach, otherwise my math is going to look absolutely terrible. Right, reverse, uh, reverse, brakes off. Sounds are on. Off we go. Modelled as a station area, there's plenty of detail and stuff like that. 
quite like it. If I, get, if I ever get a chance to do a smaller layout than my layout, I'll probably pick this one to do, actually. Nice bits of, you know, lots of shunting and sidings available and stuff like that. Yeah, if I had to make a small diorama or anything like that, I'd, uh, I'd probably pick this one just because it's, it's so nice. Lots of track in a small area, which is, you know, I like that. Okay, I will get back in the cab. I think this is our final bit of shunting to do. I know it's been a long video, but I thought, you know, the last one I cut it down quite considerably because we had lots of, you know, runnings of just up, just going at the same speed, not changing anything, moving, you know, up the line and then back down the line, which is why I did the music uh, with the different shots. But with this, because there's always been something to do, I've always been fiddling with the controls or, you know, changing tracks or changing points or stuff like that. Uh, I thought I would just leave it at its full length, uh, because, you know, because we're always doing something. If it had been, you know, just a run up the thing, or just up the line, then I probably wouldn't have bothered. But because it's not, then I've left it at its moderate full length. can't believe it wanted me to move four yards. I don't even know how long four yards is, but it can't be that far. Uh, a metre, metre and a bit, maybe, I think. Uh, I'll shut down this cab. I don't think we're going to be using it again. So I'll put that on full service, put that on full service. Uh, reverse it off, throttle off. I'll leave the marker lights on, just to save the next person. Right, right. Off we go, back to the 47. I should have really turned the 47's engine off. It's what I normally do, I just forgot. Can we go into the front cab, or is it wanted to go... Oh, finally! We can go into the front cab. Do I shut down the back cab? Yes, let's shut down the back cab. Otherwise, the railing fuses us. Oh, no, the back cab's locked. I guess we won't shut down the back cab. Whatever. Doesn't normally happen like that, it's just we've decided to be irritating. Uh desk light, head code, tail light switch, that wants to be off. It's not the tail of the train. Move this locomotive head of the train that is formed in the up platform. Okay. Want that one on, that off, engine is on, boop. Boop. Yeah, they're off. I'll switch them to straight break. Why are we not moving? Why are we not moving? Oh, this could be a problem. Let's try off. On. Forwards. None of these lights have lit up either. Um, desk light, that should normally bring on. Oh. I'd actually turn them off. Have I been in here before? I must have been in here before because I've just turned everything off again, I think. Um well, well I don't know what's happened there. Oh I haven't released the straight brake, that's why. Right. We can actually get going now. Just me being stupid. Uh do I have to set any point work? Oh god. This is annoying. Where do we have to stop? Up there. That's fine. That's fine. Junction derails off anyway. For precisely that reason. Let's 
Feeding. Doesn't matter. Right, so let's go around here. I'm not too bothered about speeding, to be fair. It's not that much over the limit, really. Right, here we go. My, I wonder if it lets change end. I wonder if it lets change end for once. Slowly bring it down. There we are. Uh, I'm not going to risk changing ends because if it doesn't let me then I have to go all the way back up here and that's not something I want to live with. So we'll just go free camera. Uh, in fact, here. And we will be on our way. So just come up to the crossing again. Wow, that made a weird beeping noise. <laughs> like, woo! It's like, it's like a record player that had just died. Oh, fans are spinning. Woo! Not like to get sucked in there. I think we're doing okay. Now, I'm just gonna have to start braking here, aren't I? Oh god, we're going too fast. Stop the train. Okay, I might have just actually salvaged it there. Maybe not. Stop! Stop the train. Oh, I think we might actually... I might have just saved that. Maybe. Maybe I did just save that. Maybe. Oh, I think I've just got that. Just saved it. Yes, look at that. Uh, might as well put an engine only, just be secure and safe. Um, how am I going to cook? That's the only thing about these. The buffers sink inside each other, so it's really, really difficult to couple. You know what, doesn't even matter, I'm going to get out and do it this way instead. If I can. I'll go in through the coach, otherwise I'll get stuck in the buffers. So we've done the demonstration shunting, and then I guess we've put the train back together for the next service. Coupled! And then the buffers pull through each other again, which is really, really strange. Can I climb up these steps? No? Yes? Maybe? Tomorrow? There we go. Right, so then, I'll do... We've got to do a full shutdown of the train. Still can't go in the back cab. Otherwise, I would shut that down as well. It's a bit irritating, whatever. Switch off any active lights. Boom, boom. The light switch off. Uh, we'll put that to... We might just sit down. Neutral shutdown, 100%. Can't really hear if the engine stopped. You will be able to, though, in the edit. Uh, I can't hear it very well. I've got headphones on, though, and just the monitor volume on. 
Uh, but anyway, I think that concludes today's video. So this has been Minehead Shunter, part two. We've had the 47 involved and the 09 over there. Would just like to say thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you have enjoyed it. We did have some hectic moments and at the end there should be some blooper videos of where I've had to start the scenario again. Uh, yes, I have had to start it again. Um, but I have enjoyed it nonetheless. We've had a couple of failures, a couple of last couple of stop the trains because I've been too concentrated on trying to get a good shot. Uh, but hopefully you have enjoyed it. So thank you very much for watching today's video. Uh, I do hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one.